Johnny Depp was recently interviewed by the uh, Daily Mail, and uh, he was interviewed about uh, a uh, the Wounded Knee land that is currently up for sale in uh, in South Dakota, and the Native Americans who live there and live around that area have wanted to buy it for themselves in order to take back their own land, the land that originally belonged to them in the first place before the 1890 massacre wounded knee. Well, Johnny Depp has taken up the mantle and has decided to try uh, and, and bid for the land himself. Um, it is currently up for sale starting at uh, $3.9 million and he wishes to buy that land and return it to the people it belongs to. Well, he is, yeah, he is, he, is quoted, he is quoted in saying, it's very sacred ground and many atrocities were committed against the Sioux there. And in the 1970s, there was a standoff between the feds and the people who should own that land. This historical land is so important to the Sioux culture and all I want is to buy it and give it back. Why doesn't the government do that? And that's a very good question because the government can afford to just buy it back themselves and give it to the Native Americans that, that it should belong to in the first place. But they're not, of course. Uh, Depp has personal motives for uh, taking part in this movement and he also got a lot of inspiration from his uh, recent role as Tonto in The Lone Ranger. Uh, it, it kind of awakened his Native American uh, heritage spirit. Um, because he too has some Native American in his blood. He said that, uh, he said, I was told at a very young age that I have some Native American blood. God knows how much, but it's there and it's part of me. History is in the hands of those who get to write the books, as they say. And until you grow up and read about the true facts, that's the stuff that they teach you in school. I'm doing my best to make this happen. It's land that they they were pushed onto and then they were assassinated there. It really sat, saddens me. It's really it's it's really sad what we did to the Native American people in the past. And I think he's right that they we don't really learn about that kind of stuff in school. I never learned about the uh, Trail of Tears until I got into college. Yeah, they neither did I. The, they don't put that in the high schools uh, high school books. So somehow I remember when I was a kid, somehow they always managed to twist it and make the Native Americans seem like these really savages, savages that, and we were just like doing what we had to do um, in order. Yeah, we, to we were the pioneers land. that were that were trying to settle a untamed land filled with savages, and we had to we had to fight back because they were going to scalp us or something. Yeah, but I, I, I am I am genuinely in love with Johnny Depp. He might be the only man you know left on the planet that I would really try to you know want to want to have a, a re relationship with because I mean he's just he's just perfect for me. He's such a wonderful human being. He's artistic. He's creative. He's smart. He's, he's politically dreamy, active. I bet he's. And yes, he's the <laughs> sexiest man that has ever walked on this planet. He ages backwards. He never ages. He's immortal. And uh, one day I'll make him mine somehow. <laughs> no, but seriously, how much? How much? I, I like what he's doing. I do like what he's doing. I I, I think that uh, you know why not, right? He, he he really gets into his roles too. He doesn't just play a part. He really gets into the heart of his role and and becomes that role. And when he does that, he becomes he builds on himself. He said that before, that he never really goes back to being the same person. He he's touched and, and changed by the roles he takes on. So I, I'm I'm amazed all the time by him. I'm I'm I you know, I joke but I'm astounded really by the all right. God he bless. is. Yeah. Good on him. God bless. Yeah, D Daniel. What do you What do you think? I, I always liked a lot of his acting. I've seen many of his movies. Um, he he he's generally he himself is um, very much a social libertarian. He was a big fan of Hunter Thompson, who himself was a social libertarian. Um, I, li I like a lot of his political views. Um, I also like a lot of his work. And those are my final thoughts. <laughs> All right. Well, 
Are we as done? long as long as we're doing a little uh, final thoughts, I'm just going to give this little final thought. Johnny Depp, if you ever watch this show, please contact me and be my friend at least because you're awesome, and I would really love to hang out with you. Okay. All right. Uh-huh.